yeah not just after she gave out the cloth not just some spiritual body order not just the body order she lost everything her job she is finding it hard to feed and she is sick watch this video to the end you will appreciate the fact that you watch it to the end a word is enough for the wise welcome back to our youtube channel welcome back to our youtube channel thank you for stopping by i really do appreciate you thank you so so much thank you please if you haven't subscribed could you please kindly click the red subscribe button oh my gen sorry please could you please kindly click the red subscribe button if you have subscribed gloria cheesy or is saying thank you thank you i appreciate you i give reference to god almighty the creator that was not created i give respect and honor to whomever respect and honor is due unto i respect our elders whom discovered the uses of these natural things i respect our elders on this channel we not only talk about how to use this how to use this sometimes we also talk about how to prevent some things so that you don't have to start going about looking for solutions Today, I want to share with you a very touching and deep, um, how do I put it, that is happening to one of us presently. She actually gave me the permission to go ahead and make a video of this so that others will learn. This lady is not um, in the country. She's not even a Nigerian. Before, you know, some people will always, we now say, oh, Nigerians are there, this, 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 this. She is not even a Nigerian. So she contacted me, she wants some product, someone directed her to buy some kind of, the person actually listed the things she should buy, Igilla, Ekwobo, Cleansing Soap and all those things, you understand? So she dropped a voice note, if you know me, I don't usually like voice notes, not because I don't want to, but because of time. She dropped a voice note, when I saw the voice note, I closed it. But I don't know, sometimes you have this leading that tells you, you don't close this one. Go and listen to it. When I listen to this voice note, her voice sound, she was virtually crying in the voice note um, of about one minute or thereabouts. I called her back. Hello, hi, this, 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 this. Why? I, you know, I am an empathy. I carry other people's energy. The sound of her voice like she's crying made me call her back was happening this so she narrated to me how she has been suffering from this um body odor body odor that is not um natural body odor that was not there but it started when she traveled to her home country and returned back to the u.s ever since then she started having problem one issue or the other this body odor now this body odor is even in a way that her neighbors her neighbors like one flat, second flat, third flat. I don't know how that is. Sorry. See, I am not disputing um spiritual things. Please don't get me wrong. But the next neighbor, not in the same flat, would tell her, Oh, I can hear your smell. I know you are the one. This day. She said people now hate her. Everywhere she goes, people hate her. In fact, she is not even working anymore. She's not working anymore. So you can imagine what life has become. This is someone that when she traveled to her home country, she was doing well. She, according to her, she gave people money, clothes. Where did this start? It started with her sharing her used clothes, giving out her used clothes. According to her, she said she gave it to her loved ones. Underline the word loved ones. Yes, definitely. You wouldn't give something that is yours to someone that, show, that has shown you they are not in good terms with you. I don't want to use the word enemy. Because if someone is not in good terms with you, not in, in talking terms with you, does not mean that that person is your enemy. No. That is where we get it wrong. Sometimes we avoid people that we feel, oh, they don't talk to us. Oh, they are stopping us. And... People you think they laugh with you, they mingle with you, they eat with you, and all that could be those you should be um, avoiding. Now, ever since she gave out her used clothes in her home country, her life, and she returned, her life never re remained the same. Hatred, this unexplainable and body odor began. Now, why am I making this video like I told you? I have her permission. 
I am making this video. I know some people will ask, oh, in such situations, what do we do? No. I may not be talking about what you will do because, in quotes, I don't know what you will do in such situation. But this video is just an eye-opener. Then again, I remember the first person that contacted me with this same issue. I think that was last year. Yes, she's also in the U.S. She said her friend came to her house one morning like that. And she met her in her nightgown, pajamas, the one she sleeps with. Now, it's not even uh, maybe like it's um, a beautiful dress. You will say maybe the friend liked the dress. No, her nightwear. And the friend, was, uh, the friend was like, oh, give me this dress. I want this dress. Now, please don't get me wrong. I am not saying your friends and family are evil or bad. No, 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 no. Because some of us have worn other people's clothes i have worn other people's clothes i have worn friends clothes clothes they dashed me two three years ago yes i have worn their clothes but up to today they are doing well they are fine you understand now what am i trying to say it doesn't mean that everyone you dash your clothes or everyone you give your clothes to are going to use it against you are evil or they are evil but you need to have a spirit of discernment because people you give your clothes to also are people that show you love, care, family members and friends, right? Now, this sister said, her friend said she should give her that particular one. She said she offered to give her friend a very beautiful, new and expensive um, dress. The friend said no, that she doesn't want that one. That it's this one she's putting on that morning, her nightgown that she wants. And she went all out removed the nightgown from her body and gave it to her friend what happened afterwards you would say right that was why she was chatting me then when she still began to look somehow to her when she told her sisters in nigeria according to her the sisters shout why why would you remove your clothes and give it to someone now the astonishing thing in this is she offered to give this friend a beautiful new cloth she has not worn an expensive cloth according to her the friend declined and said no no please don't get me wrong there's every possibility that this friend love actually truly love but i'm still imagining and wondering a nightgown how beautiful is this nightgown that you want um, someone's nightgown well that is just it now like i said why am i making this video it's also that time of the month right that time of the year right when you will be traveling to show off that you have arrived when you will be traveling to show off that you have the best shoes the best clothes now sometimes some of us even travel with things we don't need you're traveling for a vacation of three days now when i mean vacation i'm not saying the one you go alone in a hotel you understand but you're traveling you just pack things things you have worn ah i'm going to give this one this one i'm going to give give this if you can afford it buy a new one for them buy a new one for them please now this sister that just um, chatted me yesterday i called and i heard when i heard her story indeed i am bare there is life we need to be careful I just pray that um, the things she would want to, she's trying to buy, maybe it could be God's leading. I just pray it works for her to put an end to this spiritual body order so that she will get her life back. Be careful out there. It's not what it seems like sometimes that it actually looks like. Anything you have worn, even if you wore it for one second, it has already carried your DNA. I taught us on this channel how to, before you give out your clothes, what to do. I will check that video. Hopefully, I find the video. I will link it with this one. You can watch how to remove your body, whatever, spiritually, before giving out your clothes. But remember something. This is for clothes that you already planned that, okay, I want to give it out, right? But we are talking about the one you brought, you are still wearing, that is still yours and all that. And someone says, oh, give me this, I want this. If you don't have a spirit of discernment, please, if it is something you can do, 
go and buy another one for them. Oh, can I get you another one? Oh, I will buy another one for you. Period. Same goes with your shoe. Same goes with hair. Same anything, anything you see, even if it's a wristwatch, don't even think that ah, it's a wristwatch, it can be used to connect to you spiritually. Please, a lot is happening out there. Be careful with your belongs belonging, be careful with your clothes, be careful with anything that has touched your body, be it earring, anything. Please be careful. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. It's not another person but Gloria Cheesy. Oh, thank you.